all of the planets and all of the dwarf planets in our solar system move. We know that people can move in different ways. Sometimes they run, sometimes they stand in the front of the camera and make funny faces. Sometimes they move their arms to move a boat. Of course, animals move. Sometimes they're chasing, sometimes they're wagging their tails. And then there's kayakers that move in so many different ways. Planets move in two very special ways. One way that planets move is called rotating. Planets rotate or spin like a top or dreidel. As they rotate, they spin on an imaginary axis. The handle of the dreidel is one example. The pole that goes through this globe is another example. All planets rotate on their axis. At super slow motion speeds, we can actually count how long it takes the dreidel to spin once around. We can also count the number of times this globe rotates. Every time we see the line of tape go by, it's one rotation for the Earth, or one day has passed. And every time you see that big red spot go by on Jupiter, one day has passed on Jupiter. Every planet does some rotating, and as it rotates, one full rotation is one full day for that planet. Now some planets rotate slow and others rotate fast, and that's why some planets have long days and other planets have short days. Some planets spin very fast. Fast spinning planets rotate quickly and have short days. Some planets spin very slowly. Slow spinning planets rotate slowly and have long days. To summarize everything we've learned about rotation, Rotate means to spin on an axis. Planets that spin slowly have long days. Planets that spin quickly have short days. The other way that planets move is called orbiting. Orbiting means to move around something in a circular motion. A runner runs around a track in a circular motion and a planet orbits, or goes around, the sun in a circular motion. When a runner completes one trip around the track, we say the runner has completed one lap around the track. When a planet completes one trip around the sun, we say the planet has completed one orbit around the sun. One year for a planet is the amount of time it takes that planet to orbit the Sun. Some planets have long years and other planets have short years. Do you notice anything here which might give us a clue as to why some planets take a long time to go around the Sun and other planets can go around the Sun much more quickly? Some planets go very fast. When a planet moves fast, it finishes its orbit quickly. Fast-moving planets have short years. Some planets go very slow. So slow-moving planets have long years. They take a long time to orbit the sun. To summarize, an orbit equals one trip around the sun. Planets that have long orbits and move slowly have long years. 
Planets that have short orbits and move quickly have short years. So you've now spent five minutes learning about the two different ways planets move. They move by rotating and they move by orbiting. Now let's start the activity to start practicing, exploring what we've learned.